on YouTube, this boy OT and Mog, man. Um, I'm back with another story time for y'all. I got an, um, another little good, 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 little funny little story time. If you ain't why my last story time, go go check that out. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't why my last story time. But um, so yeah, this story time basically about how I got chased by a goat. I know y'all probably get free. I know y'all probably like, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I got chased by a goat, you feel me? So So yeah, so I used to go to the country all the time, you know what I'm saying? I used to always go to the country, like, every Friday, you feel me? So when I say every Friday, I mean every Friday, I used to go to the country, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I had some fun times in the country, though, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I really be missing them days, for real, for real, but... So, yeah, in the country, bro, I'm gonna follow my country folks out there. If you know, you know, in the country, bro, you're gonna see all type of animals, bro. Horses, pigs, hogs, dogs, ducks, all, all, all type of stuff, bro, you feel me? So, um, so, yeah, basically, so I went to the, um, country... I used to go to the country, and um, my folks, they used to have a little goat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they used to have a goat or whatever. They used to have it, like, on a chain. I don't know why they had a goat, but at the time, they had, like, a goat as a pet. I don't know why, but, but yeah, so basically, you know what I'm saying? My folks, they had a goat as a pet. And, like, you know what I'm saying? So, me being young and my own, um, my brother and my cousin, you know what I'm saying? We used to always go out there and mess with the goat. Like the goat used to be on the chain now, but on it, but on this day though, this, on I ain't gonna lie, on this day that motherfucker got loose. But anyway, so we used to go out there and mess with the goat. He used to be chained to like a little tree or whatever, and we used to go out there and mess with it, and make it chase us and stuff. So, but one day, bro, when I tell y'all, boy, one day that motherfucker broke off the chain, boy. Let me tell you how it went. So, one day it was sunny afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Sun was high in the sky. It was sunny. It was, no, I'm feeling good outside. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Me, my cousin, my brother, we used to always go mess with the goat. So, one day, so, I right, we messing with the goat or whatever. Um, messing with the goat. And for some reason, somehow, okay, this is how I went. So, first, my cousin went. He started messing with the goat. Boom, he ran. My brother went. He started messing with the goat. Boom, he ran away from the goat. For some reason, when it came finally for me to go mess with the goat, that motherfucker broke off the motherfucking chain off the tree, bro. So I went to the goat, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jump at it and stuff. That motherfucker broke off the chain. So boom, the goat broke off the chain. Remind y'all at the time, if y'all know goat got them little antlers, bro. When they, I ain't gonna lie, them motherfuckers hurt. But yeah, that motherfucker broke off the chain. That motherfucker just started ramming in my leg. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? No. Me, my cousin, brother, we all running. All I remember was that motherfucker ran me on my leg. That motherfucker kept ramming me on my leg. I'm running away while that motherfucker just hit me on my leg. You feel me? I finally got to the closest object I could get on, and I had got on the picnic table. You know what I'm saying? I was on the picnic table. My brother, he probably, I forgot what, what he had. I don't even know what my cousin and brother. All I know, they loved me. So I was on the picnic table, and um, around the time, there wasn't no grown-ups around, so... And like all of us we really were all of us we really were scared of the goat though, you feel? We all were scared of the goat or whatever. So So basically we had to wait till like our uncle, you know what I'm saying? We had to wait till he come home. I don't think he was matter of fact, he wasn't at home at the time. He was like at work or something. So goat broke off the chain, so basically we gotta go basically all day with this goat loose until our uncle get out of work, so so I'm on the picnic table, stranded, you know what I'm saying? Remind y'all, the picnic table, far from the crib. At like the picnic table right here in the crib, the house, like, all the way over there. So now my instinct, my goal, I'm like, okay, I got to hurry to get in the crib. My, you know what I'm saying? So so basically, my goal was to um, get in the motherfucking crib. And my own um, brother and my cousin, like, they were trying their best to help me, you feel me? But... They couldn't help me, but that goat, every time I got out the picnic, every time I attempted to try to run in the crib, like that goat, that motherfucker was so fast, and then they had the sharp ass antlers, like that motherfucker was so fast. Every time I got out the picnic, that motherfucker would come running towards me. And like, I heard me on the picnic table, so I ain't gonna lie, I probably stuck for a good about an hour on that picnic table. But my cousin and brother, um, they kept trying to come up with strategies and stuff to like, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, they were scared of the goat and stuff too, so every time they try to Oh, matter of fact, now I think about my cousin and brother, they was already in the crib. They were watching me from a distance. And the goat, for some reason, that motherfucker was just, it kept circling my picnic table. Like, it kept circling my picnic table, bro. So I really couldn't go nowhere. So my brother and them, like, they'll run out run out there towards the goat to, like, distract it. It would start chasing them. They'll run back in the crib. Every time I got on the picnic table, it would run back towards me. I heard him get back on the picnic table. And my, y'all, they animals, bro, that shit hurt, bro. Like, 
I don't care what nobody said like them animals, that motherfucker hurt, bro. But um I'm gonna tell y'all how I got in the crib though. So basically I was on the picnic table. I was on the picnic table. Um my cousin, he went around the crib and he, he had like some little food or something. And he was like showing it to the goat, trying to scratch the goat. The goat saw my cousin. The goat started going toward my cousin that was behind the crib. You know what I'm saying? So my brother, he ran out toward the picnic where I was and he started, you know what I'm saying? He came out there to get me. I'm talking about as soon as me and my brother started running back toward the crib, the goat, like, it just, the goat, I don't know, that motherfucker just automatically just knew what we had going on. Like, so the goat, before he even went to my cousin to try to get the food or whatever, he had turned around and saw us running towards the crib. Mom, when I tell you, that motherfucker, whew, Shot towards us like a motherfucking bulldozer. I ain't like, um, so yeah, so basically, that motherfucker shot towards us. So now, me and my, you know what I'm saying? So the goat was closest to the house. So, me and my brother, we had to run back on the picnic table, bro. We had ran back on the picnic table. So then, there was my cousin took it upon himself. <laughs> there was my cousin took it upon himself. So he was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cousin, man. He had ran. Behind the goat, while the goat was running towards us, you know what I'm saying? Making noise, he was trying to scrap the goat, so the goat fucked around and turned around and um started running towards him. So while the goat chasing him, the goat chased him all the way around the crib. I don't know what happened, on, but you know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know if he, you know what I'm saying, got charged at by the goat, but um, but yeah, so basically, so when the goat started back, when the goat turned back around and started chasing my cousin around the crib and stuff, then me and my brother like, okay, this is our perfect time to go in the crib. So, boom, we ran in the crib. You know what I'm saying? We ran in the crib, so now we good. And that's saying, you know, I'd probably say about, like, two minutes later, our cousin came from around the crib, you know what I'm saying, um, yelling, yelling and shit, hollering. By the go behind him, he hurried up and rushed in the crib. That nigga dived in the crib like a mug. We hurried up and closed the door. The damn goat just sitting on the porch, just watching us, looking at us. So now we got to, like I said, like, wait till our uncle get all work so he can put the goat back on the chain. Because, like I said, all three of us, we were scared of it. So, but yeah, this story, man, um, I got chased by a goat, you feel me? Um, I ain't going to lie, the country used to be some fun-ass memories, bro. Some fun-ass times. I ain't going to count, but yeah. But yeah, this is a story time, man. Something light, something simple, you feel me? Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and make sure you comment and on uh, OTMI no matter the bit, man.